Ancient Native American sculptures, often found in pairs but separated after discovery, are reunited at the Tennessee State Museum. Join us as we tour Ancestors on this week's Arts Break. There's 28 pieces of pre-Columbian Native American statuary from Tennessee. And it's about male and female figures that were united in death in the life of this community and then were taken apart, some to the Metropolitan, some to the Smithsonian. We have five in our own collection and they have been reunited. This is the first time that they have been together since they were discovered. What we know is these pairs were sacred figures. They were placed in the center of towns. Most of these are represented as people that are older. So they're the elders of the community that's being represented. The majority of these statues are found between the Tennessee and Cumberland rivers. Some of them are made out of cave formations. We didn't know that before this exhibit, but we had researchers come in from the University of Tennessee in Knoxville and do physical and chemical studies of them uh, during the installation. And we learned so much during the installation. We're now looking at Tennessee's most famous ancestral sculptural pair. They exhibit some of the most fine carving that you can achieve in this type of stone. And the male has traveled more than any other sculpture and been published more than any other sculpture. He's probably the most famous ancestral figure. In this particular sculpture, if you look very closely, you can see how the sculpture was made. You can see the finishing touches that were put on, especially on the chest area. You can see how they were engraved in the face and in the hands. When he was found in the late 1800s, with his mate, the pair was split up. So in this exhibit, you will see pairs that are united, but some pairs are still not back together. Ancestors will be on display at the Tennessee State Museum through May 15th. For more information, visit us online at wnpt.org arts. This NPT Arts Break is made possible by the generous support of the Ingram Charitable Fund, 